So, here's the big question. Should you buy the DJI Mavic Air in 2020? Now, you might be thinking, why would I buy this? This thing's like six to eight hundred dollars, whether you get it new or used. I got this for six hundred, uh, but new it's like eight hundred to nine hundred dollars. When I could get the DJI Mavic Mini that just came out, and it's only four hundred dollars brand new. Well, the DJI Mavic Mini is an excellent drone. It's an excellent beginner drone. It's an excellent just drone all around, especially for like YouTube and stuff. But I have some reasons why you should get this drone over the DJI Mavic Mini. First reason is because this shoots 4K and the DJI Mavic Mini does not. Now, it doesn't matter that much, especially for YouTube, but I personally just like 4K. I like to shoot my stuff in 4K, especially if I'm making a short film. The whole thing's in 4K. I like the flexibility of being able to zoom in a little bit. The other day, I filmed a video of my truck and I zoomed in a little bit because this was not close enough. And so I zoomed in and then put it on YouTube and it's fine but the Mavic Mini shoots 2.7K and it looks really good, I've seen it, but it's not 4K. So if you're a stickler for 4K like I am, then you just gotta buy this. Oh, it's getting so bright, there's clouds going by. Okay, so next reason is that the DJI Mavic Mini does not shoot raw photos. Now, I love photography and videography and I edit all my photos quite a bit. I always shoot raw on my Fujifilm or my Canon and on my drone, I always shoot raw. I used to have a Phantom 4 and it crashed. More on that later. But I always shot all my photos in DNG raw. And this drone, the Mavic Air, can do DNG raw as well. But the Mavic Mini does not do DNG raw. So if you really like photography, then the Mavic Mini isn't for you. This drone's for you. The reason I think this drone is the best bang for your buck right now is because it's super small and super portable. It's also very fast for starting up. I just grab it, unfold it, set up the stuff, and I'm ready to fly in like two minutes. Now, the other reason I really love this drone is its durability. Now, I had a Phantom 4 before this and it hit some power lines and crashed and it was completely destroyed. I know, it's so traumatic watching that video, isn't it? But I watched lots of reviews, and I watched tons of reviews on the Mavic Mini, and I saw people that were taking the drone and flying it into trees. I will try to link that video in the description so you can go and see the Mavic Air durability test. And it was amazing seeing how much they put this through, and the only thing that broke on it was the propellers, and propellers are replaceable. They crashed it, they smashed it, they hit it with water, like, People have done all sorts of things to this drone and it still works. Now, all my drones I've had in the past, if you crashed them, that was it. They were dead, basically. I had a Phantom 3 standard and it never crashed uh, hard. And so I was able to sell that in working order, but the Phantom 4 completely was smashed when it crashed. It fell, I think, 50 feet to the ground when it hit the power lines and completely destroyed the arms. And so, yeah, I sold that for parts and bought this. Now, even today, I crashed this drone twice. Here is the first crash. I was trying to fly it through these trees back here and watch this. Flying, flying good, looking nice. That's such a nice video. Oh man, look at that. And, oh, there it goes. Okay, if that would have been the Phantom 4, Chances are the camera would have come off, like the gimbal would have been busted, uh, the arms could have been busted, propellers everywhere. It would, have been, it would have been a bad, bad mess. But take a look. There's the drone just sitting on the ground, one of the arms folded in slightly. But look at it. It looks fine. A couple of new props on there, brush off the dirt, and we are up and flying in just a few minutes. Look at that, super easy. This drone is super durable. I even hit a tree, as you can see here. I bumped it and grazed it, and it kept flying. It didn't hit the ground. These things are almost indestructible as far as drones go. 
it gives me way more peace of mind and freedom to know that I can fly this through some pretty tight situations in pretty difficult, dangerous places, but I know it's not gonna shatter to pieces. So I can send this thing to get some awesome and epic shots, places I could never send the Phantom 4 into safely. But this, this can go through. It's small, it's portable, it's easy to take around. It looks kind of like a toy, so when people see it, it's like, they're like, eh, it's just a toy. They're not as scared by it. Whereas the Phantom 4 looks a little more terrifying to like someone who doesn't know anything about drones. So there's that. And when you can get these things used on eBay in great condition for $600, that's $200 more than the Mavic Mini. And you're getting a faster drone. This thing can go way faster than the Mavic Mini. The Mavic Mini can only go like 25 miles an hour, maybe 28 miles an hour. And this thing can hit like 42 miles an hour. Uh, no wind helps. This is just in sport mode and stuff. It's really awesome how fast it can go. Uh, it's almost, it's not quite twice as fast as the Mavic Mini, but it is very fast. It gets much better quality photos because of the RAW, and it gets a little bit better quality video. It's not that much bigger. It is kind of heavy, but it's not that bad. I mean, compared to the Mavic Mini. I mean, compared to other drones, this thing is light as a feather. Of course, the Mavic Mini is super light, but this is just a little bit heavier than the Mavic Mini, especially with a battery in it. Now let's quick talk about downsides before we go. First thing I don't like about this is when you put it in sport mode, the camera goes down a little bit so that it can fly without seeing the propellers. That's kind of annoying. Uh, I don't know. I know it's trying to keep you from being able to see the propellers, but yeah, it does bug me. You can see here, you put it in sport mode and it like dips down and looks at the ground kind of. And you, you get used to it. You work around it. It's fine for the most part, but a little bit annoying. The other annoyance is that because of its extra weight and because it's slightly older, I guess, it gets less flight time. Uh, the Mavic Mini can get almost 30 minutes of flight time along with things like the Mavic 2. And the Phantom 4 can get like 25 to 28 minutes or something. And that was really nice being able to fly for that long. Whereas this gets like 20 to 22 minutes, which is still a long time. Uh, it just doesn't feel as long when you're in the air, so. It's okay. It's less than the others. Kind of annoying. You got to get more batteries and stuff, so I've got to get more batteries. But yeah, I think that the pros definitely outweigh the cons, and I 100% recommend you buy the DJI Mavic Air in 2020 if this video helped you to decide whether you did or didn't want to buy this drone. Make sure you like the video and comment and let me know your thoughts. And make sure you subscribe and make sure you ring that little bell and hit all notifications so you never miss another upload from me because you've been missing out. Now click on one of these videos here or click over here to subscribe. That's a little shortcut. Make sure you ring the bell and all that. Do that stuff. Watch some more videos. I'll see you next time.